What's up, my piano friends? My name is Zach Evans, and today I'm going to teach you the easy way to learn church hymns on piano using a couple of copy and paste left hand patterns and a couple of music theory cheat sheets to help you along the way. Now, this simple trick saved me countless times when I was first playing for churches, and I used to be really slow at sight reading, but by using this method to learn songs, I could learn songs way faster and way more efficiently. And not only is it easier, but it actually sounds 10 times better than the original version, and you'll see what I mean in the video. All right. I'm ready to go. Let's get started. All right, so today we're going to learn the song How Great Thou Art. It's a very, very common church hymn. And as you'll see, once I teach you the method to learn this church hymn, you can literally apply it to any church hymn that you're playing in the future. All right, so first of all, I'm going to demo this song for you guys so you know exactly what it sounds like. Now, I'm actually gonna do two versions of this song, and I want you guys to be very, very honest with me, and I want you guys to leave your opinion in the comments on which version sounded better and which version sounded more difficult to play. All right, so I'm gonna do version A and version B. All right, here's what version A sounds like. All right, and here's what version B sounds like. All right, so go down to the comments and let me know which version you thought sounded better and which version you thought sounded more difficult. So once you've left a comment, I'm gonna tell you my opinion on this. And my opinion is based on very uh, very scientific research of me basically playing for church and then afterward seeing how many compliments I get from the old ladies at church. And I can tell you empirically data-driven that version two sounds cooler to most people. And not only does it sound cooler, but it's actually easier to play. Even though version two looks like it's harder to play, it's actually easier, and I'm gonna tell you why. There's three things I'm doing in version two that make it easier to play. Number one, I'm using what's called copy and paste left hand patterns. Even though my left hand was moving very fast, it was actually playing the same pattern over and over, over different chords. So I'm really playing the same eight notes over and over. We'll get more into that later in the lesson. The second thing I was doing is in the right hand, I was completely ignoring any notes except the top notes. So if we look at the sheet music, I was only playing these top notes, but all these bottom notes, I was completely ignoring, which makes it easier as well. And reason number three is I was only playing the main primary chords of the song. All right, so here we are at the sheet music, and I need to explain the concept of main chords or primary chords, and there's other chords that are called secondary chords. Some people call them passing chords. Basically, you see all these big chords in the song, and a lot of these chords are not important. They're what's called secondary chords, um, and it makes it really, really hard to play if you play through all the secondary chords. Like, a lot of beginners think, oh, church music is easy because it's pretty slow moving. There's no 16th notes. But in reality, for a beginner, church music is extremely hard to read because you're changing four notes at the same time. And we're going to fix that problem by using a little bit of music theory and only playing the primary chord. So we're going to take one chord and play it for a big stretch and ignore all this other stuff down here. And then we're going to take another chord, play it for a big stretch, ignore all this stuff down here. That's how we're basically going to make it a lot easier. Now, first things first, um, if you do not know music theory, don't worry. We're going to have some cheat sheets that are going to help you out a ton with that. All right, so let's get started with the actual lesson component of this video. So first thing you're going to want to do is find the key of the song. Now, if all you have to do is look up here at the key signature. Now, if you're a music theory nerd like I am, you'll just know that two flats is in B flat. If you're not a music theory nerd, no big deal. We can find this out using the cheat sheet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a link on the screen. If you click that link, you will go to this page and it says Easy Church Hymns, Cheat Sheets and Money Patterns. All right, so you're gonna enter your first name and email, click Get My Bonuses, and it'll go to this page, all right? So this page has all your PDF cheat sheets. So it has the sheet music and then a couple other cheat sheets we're going to use. Let me show you what these look like. First, we have the sheet music. Print that off or at least have it on your computer. Then we have 
Chords and Keys Ultimate Cheat Sheet. This one is super important. It looks complicated. I promise you, this is the easiest thing you've ever used in your life. And then we have the Major Chords Cheat Sheet, which has all the major chords, and the Minor Chords Cheat Sheet, all the minor chords. All right, so all we're gonna do first is go to this cheat sheet, the Chords and Keys Ultimate Cheat Sheet. All right, so remember we had two flats, right? So if we go down this little list and we find two flats, we're in the key of B flat. And the cool thing about this sheet is there's all these chords, these hundreds of chords, but we know we're in B flat, so we know we only have to worry about this row, and I'm just gonna highlight it in green for you guys so you can see it better. So in B flat major, this, this key that we're in, we're only gonna use the, the these, these six chords the entire time we play the whole song. So you don't have to worry about memorizing thousands of chords. And on top of that, we know that these green columns, the one, the four, and the five, are the most common chords. So we're probably mostly gonna be using B flat major, E flat major, and F major. Then we might use a few C minor, D minor, and G minor chords, but they probably won't be as common as these one, four, and five chords. Now you've probably heard one, four, five progressions. These are just simply the most common chords in any. All right, so to figure out which exact chords we use, we're gonna go back to the sheet music. And we're gonna use some clues, and we use the clues to kind of slew their way through and figure out the chords. So there's three main clues we use. Clue number one is the bass note. That's the lowest note um, that's being played. So like all these below this line are all the bass notes, basically. Um, so that's the first clue. The second clue we use is all the other notes. And the third clue we use is our ear. And we just kind of hear and say, okay, does this sound good? Okay, so our first clue is this bottom note. So what's this first note? It's a B flat. And not only is this note a B flat, but you look at this note and this note and all of these notes. So these five notes right here are all B flats. Guess what this chord is probably gonna be? It's probably gonna be a B flat chord, right? So let's go back to our thing and let's see if B flat chord is one of our options. Guess what? First option and it's one of the green ones. So it's probably gonna be a B flat major chord. So let's go back to our sheet music and we're gonna test a B flat major chord across this entire section. All right, so to find a B flat major chord, let's go back to a different cheat sheet. We're gonna to go to our major chords cheat sheet. We're gonna find a B flat major, it's right here, so it's a note B flat, D, and F. So normally it's B flat, D, and F, but we're gonna simplify it even more for you guys. We're gonna el eliminate the middle note and ignore it. So it's just B flat, F, and we're actually gonna stick another B flat on top. And your left hand the entire time is gonna be in this very open position, right? Where it's B flat, F, B flat, no matter what chord we move it around to, it's always gonna be in this open position. All right, so now we, we're guessing that B flat is a first chord based on our clues. So let, now let's try it. So we're just gonna play this B flat chord, and we're gonna just start playing the melody and see if it sounds good. Here we go. Great, that sounded great, right? If we play a different chord, if we would have played a D, uh, maybe, I don't know, a G minor chord. That sounds bad, so our ear tells us it's bad, but we did B flat major, and it sounds great. All right, so now we have our first chord, so let's write that up above the staff. B flat, hopefully your guys' handwriting is better than mine, I'm trying to use this trackpad to write at the moment. All right, so that's chord one, now let's find our next chord. All right, so for our next chord, we're going to, again, look at bass notes, the bottom notes. Now, you'll notice after these B flats, there's a C, there's a D, but there's only one note of the C and one note of the D. So my intuition is saying these are probably secondary chords because they're not main chords. There's just one quick note. But now look what we have here. E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat. Guess what chord this is probably all going to be? I'm just gonna take a wild guess and say E flat, but let's look at our actual sheet, our uh, close chord or our chords and keys cheat sheet. Do we have an E flat? And we do, E flat major. This is a four chord. So it's probably gonna be E flat. So let's test it. Let's go back to our sheet music and let's play um, this right hand over E flat chords. By the way, for the right hand, like we said before, ignore these bottom notes. You only have to play the top note. Just the melody note. Okay, so let's try it and see how it sounds. So this sounds like this. Sounds great. 
so guess what? We got our second chord. So let's write this baby in. E, oh, shoot. It's going to be hard to do E flat up here. E flat. All right. So now we got our second chord. Now, our bass note changes here, but it only go changes for one note. And then here, guess what we have? F, F. And then these notes down here are actually F, 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 F. They're all Fs. They're just an octave lower. I'll give you three guesses. What chord do you think this is? Let's guess an F. Okay, let's see if it's in our sheet. So we have an F. Yep, we have an F. So to find our F chord, major chords, cheat sheet, F. So it's F, A, and C. Remember, we ignore the middle note. So it's just going to be F, C, and we're going to put an F on top as well. So here's our F chord. Let's go back to the sheet music and let's play the melody line over the top of this F chord. So let's try this. That sounds great. That sounds great. And the beauty of this is even if you get the chord technically wrong, but it sounds good, it doesn't matter. So even if this technically wasn't an F chord, you made a mistake. If it sounds good, it sounds good. It doesn't matter, right? So now we have our next chord in F chord. Let's draw that in here. F. And guess what it goes to? Back to your B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. I'll give you three guesses which chord this is. I'm not even going to check it. I'm just going to put B flat. And then we'll just check it. Um, we'll check it now too with the, we'll find it on the major chords again. B flat. We've already done this one. There's no, remember, ignore the middle note, the D. So it's just B flat and F. B flat, F, stick one on top. And now we have our B flat chord. And we'll test it with the sheet music. And let's see what is the right hand. So it's. Awesome. So now we have the first four chords. Now I'll show you what this sounds like all in a progression right now too, just so you know exactly what it sounds like in context. So here's the whole song so far. And then it goes to E flat. And it goes to F. And then back to B flat. And guess what? It actually gets even easier because these next uh, four measures um, I, you know, I'll let you look at it your own, but they literally repeat the exact same notes of these first measures. So all you have to do is rewrite the same chord. So you do a B flat here, E flat here, F, and then back to B flat. Uh, I won't go through all that because I'm sick of drawing with this trackpad and it's kind of annoying to draw letters. Um, so I'll let you just figure that out on yourself and we'll move on to the refrain, which is basically the chorus of the song. All right, so let's move on to the chorus and we're gonna do the exact same thing we've just been doing. Let's look at the bass line. So we got, uh, let's see, actually this um, this thing is, I drew it too big, the refrain, it's here, this is the next line. All right, so we got B flat, uh, nope, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. I'll give you three guesses. B flat, and we've already done so many B flats, I'm just gonna play it here. B flat, F, B flat. Remember, you can check the major chords cheat sheet if you don't know that. And let's test it, see what it sounds like. Sounds great. Next note is just a D in the bass. And guess what? There's only one of them. I'm going to assume this is probably a passing chord and not worry about it. And we're just going to move on to this, which is E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat. We've done this game before, right? We go back, E flat is our four chord. So it's probably gonna be an E flat. Go into our major chords, find our E flat. It's E flat, G, B flat, we ignore the middle note. So it's just E flat, B flat, and we stick another E flat on top. Let's see if this sounds good. That sounds great. And then what does it go to? Looks like back to B flat. And I'm gonna go start going a little bit faster through this. So just bear with me. I hope you guys are, are catching on. You know, if you have to pause the video and go look at the cheat sheets, by all means, pause the video, okay? But we have a B-flat chord here. It looks pretty obvious, so we're just going to test it. That looks great. So we have... Oh, I stopped writing these in. So we yeah, we have our B-flat here. And then what do we say here? E-flat, I think. E-flat here. And then this is our B-flat still. I forgot to write these in. All right. So now we have, let's see. Here it goes F, 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 F. 
So we go through our thing. It's probably an F. Um, and let's see, is F is one of them? Yep, it's our five chord. So we find our F, F, A, C, ignore the A. It's going to be F, C, and add an F on top. And now we look back at our thing. And let's see if this makes sense. Um, and it goes back to this B flat. Boom. And you'll notice that as you start learning a song, the beginning takes longer because towards the end, we've done so many B flats, we've done so many Fs, you already like know what it's gonna be without even really, you know, having to go back to the cheat sheet so much because we played so many E flats, B flats, and Fs. So let's test this B flat section, see if it sounds good. So B flat, F, B flat. And guess what? Then it literally just repeats the same thing for the last four measures. So we're going to have another B flat, E flat, uh, B flat, F, B flat. And I'll let you guys figure out where exactly it repeats because it's literally doing the exact same notes. All right, what I want you to do right now is please let me know in the comments. Either say, Zach, I got it, or Zach, I'm confused and here's the exact point where I'm confused. I want to make sure that I'm not leaving people behind. I know I'm kind of going through this stuff fast. Please use the pause and the rewind features if you're a beginner, if you're having trouble keeping up because it's all logical stuff. I know it's stuff you can understand. Um, but so let me know in the comments if you're stuck anywhere or let me know in the comments if you're like, Zach, I'm good. Let's move on to the next step. All right, so next we're going to talk about money patterns. But before we talk about that, I want to let you guys know, even if you just kept these block chords going, these don't sound bad at all. If I heard somebody playing block chords in church over a simple melody, it sounds good enough to get by. So if you have a gig coming up in a week, you're playing at a church, you're freaking out, you can learn by just doing block chords, okay? And I mean, it literally just sounds like this. So it doesn't sound bad. But if you want to kind of spice it up and get it to that next level, we're going to start talking about money patterns. Now, money patterns is using the exact same chords and exact same notes, but just playing them in a little pattern, a little arpeggio riff that makes it sound more engaging. So it might be just something as simple as this, right? Just bottom, middle, top, middle, or it could be something like this. can play that and you just sh simply shift your hand to the next chord, whatever chord you have, and you can play that same pattern. And you can play it in any church hymn that you're doing. Um, I want to show you some examples just so you understand like what these can kind of sound like um, once you once you get to that next level, once you actually learn the patterns. And the big benefit is if these patterns are kind of tricky to learn at first, once you learn them for one, two, three, five songs, all of a sudden, these patterns are drilled into your muscle memory, and you literally don't even have to practice your left hand when you uh, learn a new song, because you already have the pattern drilled in from playing it over three to five songs. Now you just have to learn the melody, which is one note at a time, and now, boom, you got your church hymns. And after a couple weeks of doing this, you will be learning church hymns fast, like super freaking fast, and it's it makes it so much easier when you don't have to rehearse for hours and hours and hours every single week for church. All right, so let me give you some examples of, and I'm just going to show you what they sound like, and then I'm going to show you where to get the money patterns. All right, so here's an example on Eagle's Wings. Um, this is a very popular church hymn as well. A lot of people really liked this song, so I'll just do a little demo. So that's one song you play. You can do um, Here I Am Lord, which is another common song. That's another great one. You could do uh, Christmas Time, Joy to the World. Um, You 
play any church hymn using these money patterns and it's always gonna sound cool and you can always use this exact same system. All right, so I was gonna put the actual money patterns in this video, but it would be a super, super long video. So instead, I just put it in the bonuses section. So if you didn't do it already, just click the link. And uh, remember it was this page, just put in your first name and email, get my bonuses. Remember that's how we got to this page with all the cheat sheets, go download those. And then we have our copy and paste money pattern one. This is the super beginner one. And then we have a kind of more intermediate one. And then we have this, the secret sauce pattern, another pattern. You might have seen this video before, which I'm going to call advanced. But most people in the comments of this video were like, dude, I learned this in two days or like I learned this in an hour. So it's really not even that advanced, but it sounds really, really cool. So all you got to do is, uh, yeah, sign up here. Make sure you get your bonuses uh, before you forget, even if you, you know, maybe aren't at your your piano right now probably get the bonuses just to make sure you have them and then if you go over here to psh this is another little nugget these are all free lessons in the free piano superhuman course um any everything from like names of the notes beginners all the way through like learning scales the finger gauntlet exercise and playing by ear um so you can get a lot of extra lessons here as well I really hope you guys liked that video. If you did and you don't want to miss out on more piano videos like that, hit that subscribe button and then click that little bell next to it so you get notifications anytime I post a new video. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Peace out and happy practicing.